Greetings everyone, and today, I'll share how I converted this whole vape circuit into a pretty useful electronic repair tool. So the type of vapes needed here are the ones with display on them because they have a rewire sensor configuration with a dedicated signal wire. So by default, it can be activated by simply sucking air from it or by simply shorting its dedicated signal wire to the positive rail. I made a video related to this topic, video link in the description. This is applicable for all vapes with display on them. So by simply connecting a push button to the signal wire, I can activate the whole circuit taking advantage of the on-time limit of the vape circuit to prevent overheating. Its built-in heater is really thin, so I salvage some nichrom wire to use as a heater. You can find this nichrom wire from old soldering heater as well. Nichrom wires can be distinguished by their high resistance property, so it's the best material to use as a heater. We need around 1 ohm of resistance for the heater. I'll hold the heater with an empty PCB using these screws that I salvaged from a variable condenser. I salvage another vape to use as an enclosure. And here's the outcome. It looks promising, right? But to be honest, it actually didn't work properly. The reason for that is I'm just dispensing rosin smoke instead of a vapor. And it's a heater design problem. So I'm not into uploading fake stops. So I even drilled a cement resistor to use it as a base but unfortunately, my vape circuit is not that powerful to cover all these areas. So I decided to just stick out the heater until I find a suitable base for it. So how useful is this? I have an example board here with a detected short circuit. And at first, it looks like the capacitor is causing the short so let's try to use this hard rosin, and since my heater is sticking out, I can simply dip it like a sauce. And with one dip, it can cover a pretty decent area to test. 
I will have an upgrade on this in the future. And after dispensing rosin, I'll inject voltage to that capacitor. And as you can see, the short is actually coming from the chip, not the capacitor. So this way, I can easily pinpoint the component that is causing the problem in a circuit, making SMD repair more easier. You can also use a soldering iron for this, but I found the soldering iron pretty slow. And after all, I am pretty happy with the outcome of this project. So if you have questions, ask in the comments below. And I hope you can create even better than this one. I have more projects to come. So that's all for now. And give it a like. And coming up, I have audio related boards to review. So stay tuned for that.